Springtrap in the FNAF movie trailer looks amazing. Now, I know we didn't get to see much of him in the trailer, but I can already tell that this movie is going to be fantastic. Even though the storyline isn't that clear to us as of right now, the character designs and the prop elements and everything is amazing so far. But I want to look at Springtrap and how they designs him and how it looks so good. But I don't want to talk about everything else, I just want to focus on one character, and that is Springtrap. On the couple of scenes that we saw him on frame, he looks fantastic. And I want to go over how they absolutely perfected his facial design. I can already tell that the body is going to match the face perfectly and should accurately represent how he looked in FNAF 3. But let's look at some of his features that are different and unique that aren't really in the game. And the main one is in this screenshot right here. Springtrap is going to be using a weapon in this movie. In the games previously, he just jump scared you and that was really it. There was no weapon. It was just thought that he either scared you or killed you with his bare hands or something like that. But in classic William Afton form, he's going to be using a knife in this movie. And that's a very unique take on the character as we've never seen him use a weapon. But as of right now, we can't really decipher or understand why he is using a weapon or, you know, just anything basic like that. We're just going to assume that he kills his victims with a knife, which is very true to William Afton's character. Another interesting feature that I've noticed that not many people are talking about is that the eyes are kind of purple. There's a very light hue of purple in Springtrap's eyes, and you can't notice it at first glance, but if you decide to put a color picker onto it, you can actually tell that it is purple. At least the outskirts of it is. I believe they did that as a nod to him being the purple guy in the games. And honestly, it just looks cool too, so I couldn't blame them if they wanted to just put in a little purple hue to either reference him being purple guy in the games or just because it looked cool. Because I'm pretty sure in FNAF 3, Springtrap didn't have any purple in his eyes, it was just pure white. Now with all those compliments and all those amazing things with the suit, there is one tiny complaint that I have. And no, it's not that the eyes look bad, the eyes look absolutely amazing. Now as we all should know, the movie is PG-13, so it's not going to be an R-rated movie, so there's not going to be that much blood and gore in these movies, which I feel like might hinder Springtrap's design a little bit. We can't see much in the scenes that we got today from the trailer, but I am speculating that there's not going to be much blood or gore of William Aptham that you'll be able to see through the suit. That was one of my favorite features about Springtrap in the FNAF games, is that you could see the rotting corpse of William Aptham inside, but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to see his corpse in this movie. But honestly, it's still too early to decide if we would or wouldn't, and I really do hope when the movie comes out, we can somehow see his corpse inside and at least see a little blood and gore coming from Springtrap. Now other than that, the character design is amazing and is personally my favorite that has been showcased throughout the trailers, teasers, and etc. And maybe I'm a little bit biased because Springtrap is one of my favorite characters, but they absolutely nailed it with him. And after seeing today's trailer, I am just so excited to see what they're going to do with this movie. So let's pray that they release some more teasers or maybe even another trailer before this movie releases because I would love to look into Springtrap's character design more and more as more material gets released for the movie.